In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, beloved Living the Word community. Today, we honor St. Cornelius, a courageous pope and martyr whose feast day is celebrated on September 16th. Born in Rome and elected pope in 251 he, during a time of severe persecution under the Emperor Decius, Cornelius' papacy began in a period of great challenge for the Christian community. His election was delayed by 14 months due to the intense persecution, during which many Christians were forced to apostatize under threat of death. One of the central issues of St. Cornelius' pontificate was the treatment of these Christians, known as the Lapsi, who had renounced their faith during the persecution but later sought to return to the church. Cornelius, showing both compassion and a firm commitment to church discipline, upheld that those who had fallen should be welcomed back after a sincere act of penance. This approach demonstrated his mercy, tempered with justice, recognizing the need for reconciliation, but also for genuine repentance. St. Cornelius faced strong opposition from a faction within the church led by Novatus, who refused to accept the lapsi back under any circumstances and set up an antipope in the person of Novation. Despite these challenges, Cornelius, with the steadfast support of St. Cyprian, the Bishop of Carthage, maintained the church's position on mercy and forgiveness. In 253, Cornelius was arrested under the renewed persecutions of Emperor Gallus and exiled. He died a martyr's death in Civita Vecchia, a testament to his faith and leadership during a time of turmoil. St. Cornelius is remembered for his compassionate yet principled leadership, his defense of the unity of the church, and his unyielding faith in the face of persecution. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for St. Cornelius, whose unwavering commitment to the unity of the Church and the mercy of Christ inspires us today. Help us to be forgiving toward those who seek reconciliation, and may we always stand firm in our faith, even in the face of trials. May his example guide us in showing both mercy and justice in our lives, always with humility and love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Cornelius, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.